Hey, it's Jason here, and in this video, I want to talk to you about why the first deal is always so much more difficult than the subsequent deals, and why for you, if you're serious about acquisitions and really doing deals via leverage finance, getting your first deal is a must. It's a must. It's a must. It's a must. Here's the punchline. The day before you close your first deal, you will not get as much respect as you deserve. You will not get as much credibility as you deserve. You will not be taken seriously in the way you deserve to be taken seriously. You just really won't be given enough credibility and respect the day before you close your first transaction. Equally, I can tell you, the day after you close your first deal, everyone will treat you entirely differently. <laughs> And it's really the craziest thing ever. And I've seen this repeatedly with brighter living and with brighter utilities. But whether it's bankers, brokers, rather it's sellers, basically anyone. Everyone in the business world will take you seriously the day after you close your deal. I have a saying I always say to the guys and gals on our team. I say, especially in the M&A side, I say, hey, look, the day before you close your first deal, you won't be given enough credit. The day after you close your first deal, you'll be given too much credit. And that's the sincere reality. Look, the subsequent deals come more easily. We're getting access to so much opportunity now. Off-market deal flow, pocket listings, much larger listings, you know, really quite crazy opportunities. And we just took over this business here less than 30 days ago. Now, are we qualified? Yeah, we are. But that's because for years now, I've been building the track record to get to this point as a business person. And because I have a world-class team alongside me. But people are giving me credit before they even know who I am. And they even really realize who I, th how I think. They're giving us credit simply because they realize we have the business acquisition under our belt that we have. Right? So we're being given credit almost too easily now. And this is literally true as far as your actual credit score. When we procured the finance to make this business acquisition, my credit score jumped from 740 to 795. I thought it was going to go downwards. I just, you know, took on uh, a loan to buy the business. I figured my credit score was going to go downwards. Wrong. Now lenders view us as more attractive. They figure, hey, if somebody gave you a loan like that to buy a business like that, you must be credible. What kind of financial products can I offer you? right? It's really crazy. The day before you close your deal, you won't be given enough credit. The day after you close your deal, you'll be given too much credit. So what is the punchline? What's the takeaway? Well, to me, it is that you have to just grit through the first deal. And it's going to take five or 10 or 20 times more effort to get your first deal done than it will to get any other deal done. It's just going to, it's going to be ruthlessly difficult, incredibly difficult to get that first deal done. Expect that. If it's going to take you a thousand calls to get your second deal done, it's going to take you 50,000 calls to get your first deal done, right? And it won't take you a thousand calls to get your second deal done. Most likely it probably won't take you 50,000 calls to get your first deal done, but it probably will be 10 times more easy to get your second and third and fourth deals done. People will give you deals more easily. Lenders will take you more seriously. Sellers will take you more seriously. The first one is extremely difficult, but that's why I put out all the content that I do on jasonpaulrogers.com, on the YouTube channel, etc. Because I remember before I got started not having a clue. And I remember how difficult it is before you get your first deal done. I remember sleeping in my rental car in South Dakota and in Iowa. And it was cold. It was early spring. The nights would get into the 30s. I was bundled up in that damn car. Why was I sleeping in my rental car? Because I couldn't afford a room. Because I was just grinding it out. On the road, trying to make deals happen out there in South Dakota or Nebraska or Iowa. Obviously, we ultimately closed with Brighter Living, the first deal that really helped me get a foundation uh, in M&A and in acquisitions, which was the, uh, the Nebraska deal. But the weeks and months leading up to that deal were absolutely brutal. I was working 16-hour days. I wasn't making any money. Nobody had real respect for who I was as a deal maker. Nobody really respected my business acumen. It was brutally intense. It was brutally intense. It was, it was very intense. It was very stressful. I'll have to be honest. It was very stressful. Doing these kinds of things, you know, buying businesses, especially if you aren't starting with, with a, a, a real net worth. I, I mean, I started with nothing. 
And so when you start with basically nothing, it's very stressful. But once you get that first deal done, it will get easier. It will get easier. So you just have to grit it out. You just have to persevere. That's not to say that all your problems are going to go away after you get your first deal done. You'll still have problems. There will still be challenges. It'll still be imperfect. I I don't want to misconstrue the situation. I mean, it's still a lot of work. And getting your second or third or fourth deal done is still going to be a lot of work. But the first one is really going to move the needle. And then once you make subsequent acquisitions in the same sector, oh my gosh, then it becomes... Look, then people start bringing you deals on silver platters. Then bankers clear out their schedule to make time for you. Then sellers, you know, they start selling you on why, you know, we should do a deal. Investment bankers start putting deals on platters for you. That's when it gets easier. Doesn't mean it's easy. It just means it gets a little bit easier. But you got to get yourself in the position to get the first one done by hook or by crook. Be honest, be sincere, but by all means, fight like hell to get the first one done if you're, if you're really ambitious because it does get downhill and start going downhill from there. That's the punchline. That really is the punchline. With that, this is a outro to the video here because we've really wrapped it up. If you like this one, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel, go to jasonpaulrogers.com and share your comments below. And I'll talk to you in the next video.